profit and loss. Unit is a single object. The word unitary is derived from the word unit. The unitary method is a method of using the value of a unit to find the value of many units. This method is also used to find the value of one unit given the value of many units. Finding the cost of articles. When the unit rate is given, the cost of one article is called the unit rate or unit price. We can calculate the cost of any number of articles by multiplying the number of articles with the unit price. If the cost of one chair is rupees 450, we can find the cost of six such chairs. The cost of one chair equal to rupees 450. The cost of six chairs is equal to six multiplied by rupees 450 equal to rupees 2700. Hence, the cost of six chairs is rupees 2700. Finding the cost of articles. When the cost of a certain number of articles is given. When the cost of a certain number of articles is given, we need to first calculate the unit price of that article by dividing the cost by the number of articles. We can then find the price of desired number of articles. For example, the cost of 8 books is rupees 400. Find the cost of 1 book. The cost of 8 books is equal to rupees 400. The cost of 1 book is equal to rupees 400 divided by 8 is equal to rupees 50. Hence, the cost of 1 book is rupees 50. When you do shopping, you will notice that every article has a price tag. This is the price at which the shopkeeper sells the article. It is called the selling price, SP, of the article. But the shopkeeper buys the product from a wholesale market and then sells it in his shop. What happens when the shopkeeper buys a product for Rs. 10 and sells it for Rs. 12? He gains Rs. 2. When the selling price is more than the cost price, the difference is called the profit. Profit is equal to SP minus CP. What happens when the shopkeeper buys a product for Rs. 10 and sells it for Rs. 8? He loses Rs. 2. When the cost price is more than the selling price, the difference is called the loss. Loss is equal to CP minus SP. Overhead charges. A shopkeeper buys articles from the wholesale dealer and then transports it to his shop to be sold. The transport charges, the labor charges, may be added to the cost price of the articles. These additional charges are called overhead charges. Mark purchased a house for Rs. 12,35,000 and spent Rs. 3,35,000 on repair. Then he sold the house for Rs. 18 lakhs. We can find if Mark made profit or loss by calculating in the following way. Cost of the house is equal to Rs. 12,35,000. Cost of repair is equal to rupees three lakh thirty five thousand. Total cost price of the house is equal to cost of the house plus cost of repair is equal to rupees twelve lakh thirty five thousand plus rupees three lakh thirty five thousand is equal to rupees fifteen lakh seventy thousand. Selling price of the house is equal to rupees eighteen lakhs. Since SP is more than CP, there is a profit. Profit is equal to SP minus CP is equal to rupees eighteen lakh minus rupees fifteen lakh seventy thousand is equal to rupees two lakh thirty thousand. Percentage of profit or loss. We can calculate the profit percentage using the formula. Profit percentage is equal to profit into one hundred divided by CP. We can calculate the loss percentage using the formula. Loss percentage is equal to loss into 100 divided by CP. A trader buys a refrigerator for rupees 17,500 and sells it for rupees 18,900. Cost price of the refrigerator is equal to rupees 17,500. Selling price of the refrigerator is equal to Rs. 18,900. Since SP is more than CP, 
there is a profit. Profit is equal to SP minus CP is equal to rupees 18,900 minus rupees 17,500 is equal to rupees 1,400. Profit percentage is equal to profit into 100 by CP is equal to 1,400 into 100 divided by 17,500 is equal to 8%. Thus, the profit percentage is 8%.